So, this is my lacto hop experiment. I have uh, made three cans of wort and I pitched lacto into all of them. So, just used uh, your regular probiotic capsules containing various lactobacillus strains. Um, this one in the middle is the control. It has had no hops added to it. And these two have had dry hops. I've been, yeah, I've dry hopped them. So the idea, the premise was, was that I believe that hops would inhibit lactobacillus growth even though they're not as summarized. Uh, as, as so they're, they're not boiled, so there, there are no IBUs here. Yeah. Uh, so I started out with uh, just a vote, which was 1.025 uh, in OG. Um, I started out with this, and I so I pitched one gram of amarillo hops into it, and uh, when I, it started out with a pH of 5.5, and it has dropped a couple of pH points down to pH 5. Point oh, which is not a significant drop and it's not enough to inhibit uh, various other organisms to sort of take up residency here as you can see uh, there's a big slimy thing living at the bottom there um, probably the pH is as uh, I've measured the pH throughout the week and it has stayed around 5 oh so it's it's not uh, uh, not dropping. Uh, we can measure it now to see w where it's at. It's been sitting here for four days in around uh, in slightly warm room temperature. So yeah, it's, it's at 4.8. Um, this is our control. So this has had no hops added to it. And as you can see, it's quite sour. It's also completely clear of any sort of uh, foreign organisms. Yeah. So it seems to stable out at around uh, 3.1 or 3.0 actually. No. Yeah. The last bit here had uh, had uh, I gave the lactobacillus 24 hours to grow before I pitched uh, any hops into it. So when I pitched the hops, the pH was 3.7, and it seems to have stabilized at around 3.6. Yeah. So it, interestingly enough, it did continue. The pH continued to drop a bit but not really that much, which leads me to think that the hops will inhibit uh, uh, lactobacillus reproduction and not necessarily kill off the, the lactobacillus that's already there. Yes, but so what I've learned basically, uh, dry hopping seems to be very effective at inhibiting lactobacillus growth. So if you want to sort of lock in your lactobacillus at a certain p, uh, you wort at a certain sort of pH level, you can just sort of uh, pitch a bit of, of uh, hop, uh, hops into it as you are getting closer. And if you do that in combination with uh, yeast, uh, it'll not drop much further as the 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 lacto will stop reproducing and the yeast will probably not take too much notice of the hops and will completely outcompete the lactobacillus. Cheers!